Hey everybody, this is Strife of Blank Trigger Gamers, here with a video that is a sort of teaser for what I'm working on right now. Um, as you know, uh, or you should know, that I've acquired Dark Souls 2, or I've purchased it on the release day and I've been playing it, and I still haven't beat it on my main character, but um, I was speaking with a friend last night, and I totally got this idea of making Souls of the Dark 2, or at least making a Belmont build. Um, I want to be more thorough in this one than the last one, so I'm going to take my time with this one, so don't expect a fast schedule, even though my other one wasn't really fast either. But this one's going to be a lot more thorough. Um, I think I'm going to make another site for this, or another wiki page or something like that, to that degree. So, um, I think in Dark Souls 2, it's much easier, in, or not easier, um, the word would be, it's simpler to acquire and get everything much with um with better like uh, speed or whatever to, uh, and to acquire everything as opposed to when Dark Souls 1 I really had to think about how to acquire everything you know tips and tricks well the whip is pretty much easy you don't have to go to getting through any loops or getting some spells just to get past an area just so you can get the whip or dying or something you can pretty much use the petrified um, something and whatchamacallit, go to the, the crows and acquire the whip by chance of luck. It took me actually like two tries to get it. So, yeah, that. So, right now, if you're looking at the video, um, currently I have the pretty much the armor set that I want. It freaking looks like Simon Belmont. Like, I saw the bandit armor and I was like, Simon Belmont. That is Simon Belmont. So, I had to go with that. Though I'm kind of like in a mid stage where I don't know if I sh you should pick that character in class first if you want to make it a true like the true Souls of the Dark playthrough because the whole emphasis behind Souls of the Dark that I made is to make it a little bit more challenging and even though I haven't beat the game um the bandit armor kind of gives it gives you um enough defense that it doesn't you don't get hurt and you kind of don't feel in danger so I'm deciding if I'm gonna leave it I mean I'm having fun with it so that's the main thing because you don't want it just to be annoying but for difficulty I've got to work the kinks out um I pretty much it was got the stats down which actually surprised me the stats aren't hard to pick out because of um Mugen Monkey you look at that up on Google or anything Mugen Monkey is a character planner it's amazing I'll put a link um for stats it just helps out I used it in the first one and it's just a great the guy who made that is amazing so other than that um, the stats pretty much the same kind of but the thing in this one since endurance um, upgrades your uh, ability um, a little bit or I mean it upgrades your poise while it upgrades your um, I think it's defense or something like that, but, oh, your stamina. While I upgrade your stamina, it upgrades your poise, which, if you know, I'm really against the, having a lot of poise while using this uh, this build or this playthrough. So, you're probably going to stay with the base status as endurance. High vitality in this one, because you can use it. It's very helpful, and it gives you that Simon Belmont, the original Castlevania feel. So, that's awesome. Um... Uh, and another thing is, um, Dex is huge. Dex and Faith, which actually, how they made the whips and everything, there's no, like, true vampire killer in a sense. It's usually just the old whip, which I call the vampire killer in this, because it does so much damage. But the durability is ridiculous. Like, if you see in this video, I can hit something about five to ten times, and it's almost broken. The sword, the freaking, I mean, the whip is almost broken. I've... I had to actually run across and get the notch whip to um, acquire um, some kind of like d um, backup when fighting other enemies. So, other than that, I'm working on the stats. I'm working on the uh, build. I'm working on the thorough, more thoroughness in this one, more Castlevania-like styles. I'm looking for if if anybody uh, is there to offer a remixer, Castlevania remixer, because I don't really like using Castlevania copyrighted music. But it's one of those things because I've gotten some things on there on some of the videos that I kind of just kind of push away from those. So if there's a remix out there and 
he's looking to produce his music or put his music on Castlevania or like show off his music, hit me up, let me know, because I'll put him in the videos. I love that kind of music, especially metal music. I'm a big fan. Um, so other than that, I'm working on the build, working on some other stuff in BTG, but other than that, love this build. Um, it's an awesome Simon Belmont build, and I'm going to work on it, and hopefully... I'm going to do a playthrough of this one, which will be Souls of the Dark 2, which is tentatively called the Undead Curse. <laughs> um, Dracula's Curse, get it? Yeah, yeah. So, other than that, um, this is just a little update video. Uh, you guys know that Dark Souls 2 rocks, and it's sick. So, um, I will see you guys later. Ah, straight up.